Hello and welcome to this video on machine learning, where we will be discussing the softmax as an activation function. And uh, this specifically deals with uh, multi-class classification. Where if we had three, four, or uh, more labels than that, we are talking about applying some kind of activation function, which will eventually give us our probabilities. And uh, the probabilities are what we will convert into values that tell us which class or uh, which label is our predicted class, right? Uh, let's, let's take a look at an example for uh, text classification. Let's say we have these several texts that we are, we are trying to break down into different news groups. And uh, our classes may be divided as business news, sports, we can have entertainment, and let's say politics. So our text is basically passing through, if we're taking an example of neural networks and uh, it's, it's passing through several hidden layers, our process is something that uh, you may be familiar with. Eventually, when we are talking about all the weights and biases that are being applied here, and uh, we are getting some kind of an output, right? This. Your, your final output layer is going to consist of, since you have four classes over here, we would have one, two, three, and uh, four neurons in the final layer. And uh, let's say <coughs> in, in terms of, <coughs> in terms of a, having a value for our final matrix, Let's say we are looking at values of three, two, minus one, and one. So how the softmax would work upon this particular output matrix is it applies your, these, these are basically considered your Z values say zi, which is obtained by summation of your uh, weights and uh, the bias which is added. Eventually, what you're getting is z1, z2, z3, and z4. These are our values. And uh, effectively, computing our probabilities, we are talking about e raised to zi divided by the summation of e raised to zi for each of these classes. So where that takes us is, we say e to the power three divided by, the, the summation is always, the summation will be one fixed value that we have. And uh, this for a value of three, when we compute that, it comes out to be, 20.08, 0 0.368, 0 0.85 here, 0.368. Well, I think we got that uh, the other way around. Yeah, e to the power two. So we have about uh, seven point. That's our value, e squared. For minus one, we're getting about 0.368. And uh, plus one gives us 2.718. So these are the uh, e, e to the power zi values. And uh, computing this ratio for each of our classes, we're getting about 
0.65 for uh, the first one. You have about 0 0.240 here. So it's 0 0.01 and uh, 0 0.09. So in that order, when we are taking a look at, at our uh, at our classes, these are the probabilities. And uh, going by the majority or the, the maximum probability that we have, we would go for your first class, which corresponds to business. And we say our predicted class for that particular observation or the document would be the news group, which is the business news group. So this in many ways is seen as a the, the functioning of a softmax is basically an extension of logistic regression, where uh, for logistic regression, typically we apply the multi-class. We, we need to specify our uh, one versus rest method. So this is where softmax is getting applied. In case we have binary classification, logistic goes for uh, applying the sigmoid function. But uh, in, in, in terms of how eventually the probabilities are computed, softmax, what is also known as softmax regression, is seen as an extension of our logistic regression. But for most purposes, even for neural networks and uh, all advanced methods that we have, our activation function for multi-class is preferably softmax.